Hello everyone, welcome to the channel once again. I am continuing with SharePoint Online series. In this video, we will learn how you can create site collections in SharePoint Online. Now we can create a site collection either through PowerShell or through SharePoint Admin Center. So I will create first using SharePoint Admin Center. So you can go to the sites. You can click on active sites and now these are the sites which are created out of the box when you provision this SharePoint Online. I'll go and create, click on this. Now this is a team site and this is the communication site. I'm clicking on communication site and then I can click com test one and com test. So you can put the site owner name. I can put the site collection owner, which is uh, IR test one. So I can write IR test one. So test one, I think. And then the English language you can choose. And this is a pathway site collection, as you see. So site in the topics here, so case blank, everything. And then you can click on finish. It will take some time and then it will create the communication site. Okay, so you can see com test one is created. Now if I go and create a team site, now as you know, in a team site, when you create a team site in a SharePoint. A group is created in the Office 365 also. So test team one site is available. I can name uh, test one and then advanced setting, whatever privacy setting you want to only members. This is similar to what we have in a, our on premises. So public, private, everything, time zone and description. If you want to give, you can give. And then you can click next if you want to add any additional owners also you can add and the members also you can add at this point in time i do not want to add any additional owners or members you can if you wish you can add it click on finish now these two sites i have created a com test one is a communication site and test team one is a team site now you can click on create and if you want other templates so here you can click other options and if you click on other options you will find all the other templates like document center uh, wiki pages portal and if you want to see the page where uh, all the templates are there how we used to see in our on premises uh, this you can click on uh, this and then uh, more templates and then you will be redirected to this page and here it's very similar to what we used to have in our on-premises uh, SharePoint. So collaboration, enterprise, publishing and custom. So all these things are there. You can create from here also. So this is very similar to that. So if you want any other thing, you can more templates and then from there you can collect. Now how you can delete the site, it's very easy. You can just click on this com site and then you can click uh, you can click here and then delete now if you delete uh, You can see if you delete this site user won't be able to access it. You have 93 days to restore so for communication site 93 days uh, You have to restore the site so you can delete it if you wish But for team site if you go and delete You have only 30 days as you can see the site belongs to Microsoft 365 group so um, when you create a team site a microsoft 365 group is also created so when you will delete it that group will also be deleted so you have only 30 days to restore it in communication site you have 90 days but here you have only 30 days so group delete the group item and all resources you can click on this and then you can click on delete so it will be deleted now, if you want to restore those sites, it's also very easy. You can go to deleted sites and then you have these two sites which I deleted earlier. So you can click on that and then you can click on restore. It will restore without any message. Similarly, you can click on this and you can click on restore. So it will restore. Now it will ask whether you want to restore the uh, group also because we, that is associated uh, with the team site. So that will also be restored along with this. So if you restored, uh, Microsoft 365 group and the site will all both will be restored now if you go to the active sites uh, you will see both this uh, both the site collections which we have created earlier 
So that's all regarding site collection. In the next video, we'll see how we can manage this site collection. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe the channel.